So this is part two to another video I put out last week called graduating boot camp or whatever I called it because I don't know what I call it. But this is the part two. This is the ultimate part of the story, the best part. You know what I mean? So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into the video, my boy. All right, so this is the meat, eggs, and potatoes of the story because this was the more memorable part of the day, graduating boot camp. So after I did the Liberty Call with my family, got my cheesecake factory, hung out with my girl, hung out with my aunt and uncle, went to sleep. I think I saw Black Adam. Yeah, I saw Black Adam, bro, because I graduated in November of 2022. So, you know, I was hyped, but then I came back and I'm just in a good mood. And then I immediately had to snap into military mode. And that was weird. Frankly, that was weird, you know? And it's it's becoming more of a switch as the longer I'm in the military, but sometimes like the civilian to me just wants to come out and I it just it's gotta stay under wraps when I'm in uniform, but you know, screw it. So I got back to the ship and you know, everybody is talking because there's a curfew. So you had to be back I think by like nine. Nine or ten, I don't remember what time at night, but you had to be back around like one of those times. But you don't have to be back in the ship yet. So a lot of people would just like loiter on the on the sidewalks, you know what I mean? Trying to talk to their families a little bit longer, stay on the phone, you know, take pictures, that type of stuff. I was talking to my dad whenever I was out there, but then a petty officer came out. Hey! Everybody needs to get inside. This ain't the place to, you know, loiter around. Yeah. Angry petty officer noises. You know what I mean? So she was yelling at us. And so my light turned off again. I get in the ship. It's cool. I go to the bathroom first because I'm not trying to go up to the compartment. So I go to the bath, the bathroom on the first floor of my ship. Uh, I was in ship seven, the USS. John F. Kennedy, that was my ship. So if you're going to boot camp and you're on ship seven, you know, I hope you're thinking of me. So that would be cool if you, if you do, cause you know, shout out. And then just let me know your experience. Uh, cause I want to know how the galley and stuff was for you. But you know, whenever I was out there, I went to the thing and then I went up to the compartment, but I went the, the back way. And I get up there and I start seeing everybody from my division just all filed up in a line and they break us up into three different groups for buses. So my mine was the second group. And you know, when I'm packing up, like I get all my stuff out of the compartment. I was ready to go, you know, and they have us do that. And then they say, oh, like you're gonna go to bed. We didn't go to bed, my man, we did not go to bed. So I have all my stuff and then my petty officers started yelling at us, not nah, like, y'all need to go downstairs and wait for the bus. Why are you gonna be waiting up here unless you're leaving Sunday? So everybody who was leaving that night, cause I literally left at like 3 a.m., you know, left boot camp. So I didn't even sleep really. I went down there, but I was chilling, man. I had my phone. I'm listening to music for like the first time in two months. You know, I'm with my boys. Jordan's right next to me, you know what I mean? My boy Tyler is across the room. I'm texting him a little bit. I got everybody's numbers that I put in, you know. So I made some friends, you know, and we're just hanging out. And then they take us out to the buses at like 2 a.m. Um, I woke up, like, it was the first time I was able to just like sleep and nobody was like smacking me. Cause that's like a thing that they did. And I was so, so mad whenever they would do that. Like smacking me, bro. Like, you make me angry type shit. So I, went into the bus and then I just remember getting on there and then I was ready to leave. I, I might have fell asleep on the bus. I'm not sure. I actually do not remember if I fell asleep on the bus or not. But then I got to O'Hare Airport, man, and there's just like 50 sailors just hop off the bus with me because it wasn't just my division, you know, leaving. It was like everyone type, type of thing. So we all got off the bus 
and then we're out there with our sea bags on the floor and everything. I'll get my stuff and then I try to f meet. Oh, everybody went into the airport when my girl came and sat with me and we hung out and so I had to go get ready to get on my flight to go to Fort Meade in Maryland. So we were just chilling, you know, I got my sea bag and then I go get that checked after we're done talking and I the time was getting too close. So I went to go check my bags and the, there's two different sides of O'Hara. Like there's one part of O'Hara that's like, there's homeless people and it's like kind of ghetto. And then the other side of O'Hara airport's like really nice. So like we saw a dude just trying to like throw up and then he throws up like in the middle cause he was like gagging himself, bro. It was awful. And then when I got there, I went to the bathroom when I was going to boot camp and there was just like a dude just like taking a shower like in the damn sink at O'Hare Airport and like there was sh fecal matter on the floor. So, I mean, O'Hare is just like a weird, a weird place. But when I crossed over, it was cool. I saw some other sailors from my ship who graduated also just like ran into each other type of thing. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. The other cool part about it was since my girl was the only person like with me, she was able to come to the other side of the airport because we just got her, we just went through TSA together. So we just were hanging out in the airport and she was waiting with me for my flight for like the longest time. And like people were being helpful to me because I was in uniform. So it was cool. Like, like it was really cool. And then we got in there and then I just, she just waited with me. I saw some of the other NCs that were going with me to A school. Um, those are the first people I met. They graduated with me. One of them is actually assigned to my ship now. Uh, he was my roommate, but he also came with me out to San Diego after A school. Like, so this dude and me are just gonna be like around each other for like the longest time type thing. So shout out to him, man. He's cool, he's cool people. But, um, yeah, just going out and not flew in. Uh, I was not trying to talk to any of the other sailors, man. I was like, I got six months to get to know y'all. I can only hang out with my girl for so long. So we were just chilling. And then uh, flew out, went to Fort Meade. And that's the story. If you like this story or my YouTube channel or the way I explain things, man, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. You already know. I appreciate the hell out of each and every single one of you, especially you. Yeah, you right there, you know, talking to you, you know what I mean? You are awesome. I love you. Even if I never meet you, I love you because you're watching my video and you watched it all the way through. So I love you. If you love me too, put it in the comments, you know, just so I know that you watched it and we have like this little thing, you know, but yeah. Appreciate you guys. Um, again, I got videos dropping every Friday. I just got to San Diego, so you know what that means? I'm a sailor in the fleet now, so that means fleet videos are coming. I just kind of got to get a feel for the command and, you know, just being on a ship and that type of thing before I start posting them. But they should be posted, like, maybe end of August-ish, maybe... What's the month after August? August, September, maybe September. I don't know. I I got content for you guys coming. So that's why you guys should leave a like and subscribe because I'm trying to give you guys the full experience of me in the Navy so that maybe that will help you get a bigger picture of what it's like to be in the Navy or the military in general. So yeah, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Appreciate you. Y'all stay blessed. E...